like that. Let's question their motives. They weren't against gerrymandering when Democrats did it. Now the Republicans have got good at it. Suddenly, gerrymandering is a problem. Thank you. Thank you for the question and the comment. What a fun question supposition, but um, actually inaccurate. So uh, we have two cases that we are supporting uh, currently before the Supreme Court. Uh, one comes out of Maryland, where Democrats did the gerrymandering. One comes out of North Carolina, where Republicans did the gerrymandering. We are opposed to the gerrymandering that Democrats do, where we're opposed to it, where Republicans do it. In California, we had severe gerrymandering that was done by Democrats, and I guarantee you that my name was dragged through the dirt by the Democrats when we said we need to take that power away from them, we need to give it to the citizens because it's not right when Democrats do that gerrymandering. Uh, I, I would just say that I get that people are frustrated and they think that uh, somehow in these times that every justification um, is allowed um, to try to exclude millions of people from the census, um, and so they'll throw dirt wherever they can. The reality is that for Common Cause anyways, we've, st we've stood pretty steadfast um, that whether it's Democrats or Republicans doing the wrongdoing, we'll call them out on it. Uh, you can go through the newspapers and find that evidence, but um, Kathy Fung was not well liked <laughs> in the 2000s uh, because uh, I was willing to call Democrats uh, for the wrongdoings that they were doing. And now it just so happens that um, in this last redistricting cycle, Republicans have been pretty savvy at it. And so we're calling them uh, for their wrongdoings. Uh, in this instance, it just so happens that uh, the manipulation that's uh, being attempted is um, going from the Census Bureau all the way to a Republican strategist. Had it been a Democratic strategist, we would have called them out on the mat for it as well.